Here is a quick report on a paper that just came to our attention. What happens when somebody suspected of a crime has an identical twin? How do you separate the criminal from the innocent? Paternity and forensic analysis rely on a set of 16 to 24 short tandem repeat, we call them STR, markers. Now, due to their high genetic similarity, monozygotic identical twins cannot be differentiated using the standard paternity or forensic DNA testing methods. Contrary to popular belief, monozygotic twins are not 100% genetically identical. Lieber Wieman et al. show that a genome-wide sequencing is able to detect rare SNPs, these are single nucleotide polymorphisms, that allow you to distinguish between twins. Now, each twin has a unique SNP pattern, and these begin to arise, you know, after the blastocyst has split into two. They look so innocent at this stage, they don't tell they? Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> but as the twins begin to develop individually, the SNPs are acquired over time and carried into somatic tissue or germline, giving each twin a very unique genomic footprint. With the aid of next generation sequencing, we can actually now tell who the real criminal is, even between genetically identical twins. That's it for today's News Flash. Subscribe to our channel and be sure to pass along the news. Until next time, bye. Bye.